everyone, Udell Pandia here from This Mama Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these simple and delicious sugar cookies. Here is the recipe that I've used for these cookies. The first step is to cream 3 quarter cups of salted butter. I cream the butter on a medium setting for about a minute and a half and then I add 3 quarter cups of granulated sugar. Cream the sugar and butter together on medium speed for about two minutes. Don't forget to scrape the sides of the bowl so that all the ingredients that fall to the bottom of the bowl get incorporated into the mixture. Once that's nice and smooth, I add one room temperature egg two and a quarter teaspoons of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of almond extract. After a minute and a half of mixing, I scrape the side of the bowl before I add the flour. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, I've combined two and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. The reason why I mix those dry ingredients together first before adding them to the wet mixture is because I wanna make sure that baking powder is incorporated in the dough evenly. I then set the mixer to medium and wait until it's incorporated. I stop in the middle and scrape the sides of the bowl, again to make sure that no ingredients are stuck at the bottom. And it's really important not to overwork the dough. What I like about this sugar cookie recipe is the dough comes together nice and firm. Now I'm ready to roll my cookie dough. I split the cookie dough in half, and I actually use powdered sugar to dust my cookie dough and my rolling pin. Most people use flour, but I like to use powdered sugar because it doesn't dry the cookie out. Notice how firm this cookie dough already is. It allows me to roll it evenly without any problems of it sticking. I roll the cookie dough to about a quarter inch in thickness. Many people choose to chill their dough before they roll it, but because this cookie dough is firm, I actually roll it first, cut out my shapes, and then I transfer them to parchment paper. I then take that cookie dough that has been cut out and I place it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to chill. It's important to chill the dough for 30 minutes so that when you bake it, the cookie holds its shape. After 30 minutes, I take the pre-cut cookie dough that's been chilled in the freezer and I transfer it to a room temperature cookie sheet using the same parchment paper. I preheat my oven to 350 degrees and once it's at 350 degrees, I put the cookies in the oven. I leave them in there baking for about 10 minutes. Now your oven might have a little bit of a different temperature, so you will know these cookies are baked when the bottom of the cookie turns golden brown. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And remember, you too can bake it and ice it or cut it and craft it. Thanks.